Dear Ones, Greetings to all in this season of Christian celebration. Know that the death and resurrection remembered at Easter were meant to provide profound spiritual teachings for all, Christian as well as non-Christian. Spring is bringing with it new beginnings, even for those who may be trying very hard to avoid new beginnings. We speak now of those who believe that their learning curve is finished and that they are now entitled to sit back and enjoy old age. Those in this category will be very surprised when change begins to disrupt this cherished illusion. Everyone must be prepared for change both within and without regardless of human age and its manifestations. Refuse to blindly accept into consciousness the beliefs and fears about aging being incessantly thrown at you by corporations who stand to profit from your fears of age and deterioration. Individual human age matters not in the spiritual journey for in reality, everyone is as old as God. We emphasize change simply to remind all now on earth to not get too comfortable in the illusion, for you all made the choice to be a part of this powerful time of change in order to spiritually evolve and then in turn, assist others. An energy field filled with light can lift those receptive and ready without words ever being spoken and often even without any conscious awareness. This is what happened in the story of the woman touching the hem of Jesus' robe and being healed. It was not the robe, it was the very illuminated energy field of Jesus. She was receptive and was thus lifted into his higher frequency consciousness where disease did not exist. Many of you are beginning to experience others seeking you out asking what you know how you may feel about this or that, or what you believe your advice. They do not know exactly what it is they seek, but they feel your light. When this happens, remember always to keep yourselves in compassion and not sympathy, for in sympathy you align with the other's energy. Every soul seeks light for it is the focus of the true self to be remembered, but is with all things. This too is interpreted according to the individual state of consciousness. Even those seeming to live out from the densest of third dimensional energy are unknowingly seeking the peace and harmony of light when their discordant actions may indicate otherwise. A murderer believes he is making things better for himself in some way. The Arcturian group wishes to speak of resurrection a term heavily imbued with the Christian teachings of Jesus being crucified and then arising from the dead and leaving the tomb. The hidden, deeper message is that only through the death of the old can come new beginnings. It has been taught and believed by many that the resurrection story is about one person alone Jesus. It is time to understand that the birth, death, and resurrection events were all profound teachings given to the world with unconditional love by Jesus, not meant to be pinned on him alone. Death and resurrections have been experienced by all with varying intensity throughout lifetimes. You have all had them. Death and resurrection has been ongoing serving to lift the soul to new levels of spiritual awareness through physical, emotional, and mental experiences until at last there comes a final and profound death and resurrection in which the soul finally remembers itself. The idea of this experience as belonging to one alone has resulted in mankind missing many of the vital and powerful lessons that were given through a great sacrifice by the Illumined Teacher. All are in and of one divine consciousness. Jesus, an evolved being and master of light, incarnated to be the example, showing mankind that the way is within, but the consciousness of most were not able to accept this and instead chose to make him into a god as many still do. 
The same is true of Siddhartha who become the Buddha, and all the great spiritual lights throughout time. Over and over again, unawakened individuals have interpreted mystical teachings according to their less evolved state of consciousness. Then in their enthusiasm, they proceed to organize their interpretations, and deify the original messenger as being separate and more special than everyone else. They worship the messenger, and thus miss the message entirely. It is time to leave behind all the old concepts and beliefs and enter into your own power, dear ones. It is time to accept and believe that you and all are the expressions of the divine, even those overshadowed by ignorance and dense energy. It is time to claim your divine sonship, your oneness, and your divinity. Easter represents a rising out from the tomb of false beliefs and concepts and is often preceded by whatever painful crucifixion experiences may be necessary in order to dissolve those firmly held concepts forming your personal world. Resurrection is universal it is the phoenix rising from the ashes it is the awakening of Siddhartha Gautama under the body tree and is the master Jesus emerging alive with divine light from the tomb. Just as the birth in a manger is symbolic of a new self being born from humble circumstances so is Easter your story presented ever so lovingly by a great master of light. It is the story of you, arising out of centuries of living in duality and separation and finally remembering. Arise dear ones. Celebrate, claim self, and live, for in light there is no more crucifixion, only resurrection. We are the Arcturian group.